Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm feeling really chill, really zen. I want to just sit down and play with makeup that I already have. You guys already know this series has been one of my favorites to film on my channel. I try to do at least one of these videos once a month. It's a full face of nothing new. Um, today I want to try something different. So I like to do these videos because not only does it allow me to revisit makeup that I already have, so it's not like reviewing anything, but it's exciting for me because some of these things I haven't used in a long time. But then on the flip side, I also get to just kind of relax a little bit and try new techniques versus being preoccupied by trying to review a new product for you guys. So that's what we're gonna do today. I have something in mind. We're gonna get to the eyes later, but let's start with complexion. I really wanted to wear this again. This is the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. I'm just gonna do about a pump of this all over my fingertips and then I'm gonna take it and apply it onto the complexion. I actually just did my skincare earlier so my skin feels nice and prepped already but this is just gonna add that extra step of preppage and also my lips are stained. <laughs> so that's why they look a little bit pink. I was trying on lipsticks earlier. That's what happens when you leave me unattended in my beauty room. I end up swatching things and trying on lipsticks and trying to figure out lip combos and things like that. And I left one of the colors on too long and it stained my lips. All right, so now things are feeling good. I wanted to revisit this again because I've been seeing on Instagram, they recently launched some new shades in this product. So I wanted to get mine out again because I remember really, really loving it, but it's been so long, too long since I've used this. This is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer and I have mine in the shade Finland Light One. I'm gonna give it a good shake because it has been a while since I've used it. I'm gonna put a bit on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna start by applying this with my foundation brush just all over the complexion. I'm wanting to keep the skin pretty fresh looking I wanted to kind of channel celebrity makeup artist vibes today. I love how so many of my favorite celebrity makeup artists always keep the skin looking really, really fresh. So that's what I wanna do. I'm gonna go in with my sponge, just picking up what's left on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna go ahead and press this into the skin. Okay, so you can see how fresh my complexion looks. Um, my skin is still able to shine through though. I wanted to continue on with a little bit of NARS Again, this is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I was debating whether or not I should use this one or the Radiant Creamy Concealer, but I decided to go with this matte one because I kind of just wanted a little bit of an airbrushed finish in the center of the face. So I'm just gonna kind of sweep this underneath the eyes onto the chin, and we'll do a bit on the forehead as well. I also put some over my blemishes, and now I'm just gonna go in with my sponge and just really kind of work this into the skin. I'm pressing and almost rolling the sponge to really make sure that this gets as blended into the complexion as possible. And I'm actually taking the concealer up toward the lash line. I've been avoiding that recently because this area can tend to crease, so I usually just stop the concealer right here. But for the specific eye look that I'm thinking, I want to have a pretty nice clean slate there. I'm also gonna take this same sponge and just go across that eyelid really quick to cancel out any redness there. Okay, I wanted to revisit this powder. I honestly do not remember anything about it. This is the Pat McGrath powder. As I was looking through my drawer, I saw it and I was like, I should revisit that because I do not remember how I feel about it. I honestly forgot about it. So maybe it just wasn't good enough for me to stick it into my routine immediately. I don't really know. But on the flip side, I always hear good things about this. So anyway, I'm just gonna take this and press it underneath the eyes to set that concealer. Okay, actually, that looks really beautiful layered on top of the NARS concealer. I'm just going over with my sponge to get rid of any excess powder, but that does look really nice. So I'm just powdering the under eye area. I'm also gonna sweep it on the eyelid and then going over that with my sponge. Normally I would go in and powder the outsides of the face, but I'm gonna try to try something different. Um, it's such a habit of mine and I honestly feel like it helps powder bronzers blend out so much more easily, but we're trying something new today. I randomly thought of this bronzer and I was like, what happened to that bronzer? And then I, sure enough, I found it in my drawers. This is the 
Morphe Glamour Bronze Mastermind Bronzer. It's a face and body bronzer. Here's the shade. I bought this because I had heard such good things. And then I remember trying it here on my channel, really enjoying it and using it for a while. And then I don't know what happened. I just maybe put it back in my collection and I don't know, that's how it is sometimes, I guess. It just kind of got lost again. I'm wanting to apply this on the cheeks, of course, into the hairline a little bit and on the forehead. Now that that's blended out, I am gonna go over with my sponge again. Since I didn't powder it, I like to do this to just really make sure that those edges are blended from tinted moisturizer into the bronzer. I think that looks really nice. I like the tone and undertone of this. It's not too much on me. I feel like it just warms up the complexion at just the right amount. All right, I'm gonna go into brows. I'm just gonna fill in the brows with my Thrive Cosmetics brow pencil. And then I think we'll do the eyes next. Okay, so the brows are on. I might touch them up a little bit more later. Let's move on to the eyes. So both of these eyeshadow palettes are limited edition and I don't think either of them are available, but I'm hoping that you guys might have at least one of them. If not, you can totally find um, similar colors in your collection. I was looking for a specific color, which is why I'm using these palettes. So we've got two. We have the e.l.f. Retro Paradise. I'm looking for like greens and purples, so I pulled that palette out of my collection. And then this one right here is the um, Kendall and Kylie Cosmetics collaboration, and it also has purples and greens. I think I wanna do a green eyeshadow, but just do like kind of a wash of color on the top lid. I don't know, it's in my head. And I don't know which green to pick. So let me swatch them actually, and maybe that'll help us pick. So the first green option is this one right here from the e.l.f. Retro Paradise palette. It's called Bahamar. And then the green in the Kendall palette is called here, Kenny Kenny. And it is a little more yellow toned and has a bit of shimmer in it. Ooh, I honestly, hmm, I don't know. For some reason, I'm leaning toward the e.l.f. one. I guess, worst case scenario, I wanna kind of deepen up the green and I can always add the other um, green shadow from the Kendall palette. So let's take the one from the e.l.f. palette. This is again called Bahamar. And I'm gonna take this on a flat brush. I'm gonna tap off the excess. And I'm wanting to work in light layers. Whoa, picked up a lot more product than I thought it would. I'm just gonna start gently pressing this onto the eyelid. I'm working it from the lash line up to the crease, but I'm gonna work in layers again to just continue to build this up. And as I drag it out here, I'm wanting to kind of lift the shadow a little bit. So I am brushing upward toward the brow a bit and then blending it out in the crease a little bit too. All right, we're gonna do the same thing on this eye, making sure to work in light layers to avoid fallout, but also to make sure that your shape is nice and precise. Again, buffing upward toward the brow at the end, and then taking what's left on the brush and kind of diffusing that into the crease. I really like how that looks. I was going to try to add a little bit of like definition in the crease. <sighs> I just don't know if that would ruin what I have going on. I think I'm going to apply top lash mascara first and then apply contour if I want it. I feel like maybe if I see the eyes with mascara, I can kind of gauge that. So I am going to use the Maybelline Lash Sensational and I'm gonna really focus this from root to tip. I'm really focusing the mascara on the outer corner as well, just to kind of elongate the look. Okay, now that the top lash mascara is on, I think I want to dip into my Morphe bronzer really quickly on a smaller brush. And I'm just gonna take this right up against the lower lash line. I want a soft definition, but I really want the focal point to be the green shadow on the top lid. So that's why I thought of using this bronzer instead of an eyeshadow so that um, the tones kind of tie into the rest of my makeup look. I'm gonna take my ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Honey Dude, and I'm just lining the waterline with this. And then I'm going to apply lower lash mascara. I think I want a little bit of a lighter lower lash look and maybe even focus it on just the outer portion. I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking out loud as I go. Yeah, I actually really like how that looks, keeping the outer third of the eye a little bit more of the focal point on the lower lash line. I'm kind of making a mess, but I can always clean it up later. And then I kind of stopped like in the center of the eye. Okay, now that I've got everything on, 
I'm gonna take a little bit of bronzer, just a teeny bit, and just kind of throw in a little bit of warmth right here. Yeah, I feel like that balanced it out. I just felt like the green was getting lost in my pale eyelid. <laughs> so I need a little bit of color and shape right here. Okay, I'm really liking how this is looking. I know you guys always ask for color. And honestly, like, I feel like I've done a pretty good job at incorporating color the way that I like to. Um, but I don't really know the last time that I used a green like this. And I feel like a one color all over the eye kind of a vibe is very wearable still, which, you know, still stays true to me. But for anyone asking for color, here you go. <laughs> Just making sure when I open my eyes that the green kind of sweeps up in the right place on both eyes. I think that looks so cool. Fun, okay. I wanna test something out. I'm gonna do my lips first because I don't know what direction I wanna go. I feel like I, in my soul, I wanted to try doing like a pop of color and keeping everything else uh, very neutral and beige. But then there's the other side that's like, this would also look nice with a little bit of a pink blush. Um, so I'm gonna start out with more of a neutral lip. So using lip liner first, this is the Patrick Ta, um, what is the shade? This shade is, okay, <laughs> is it not on here? Oh, there it is, it's called She's Proud. And I'm just gonna line and fill in the lips with this. Mm. Mm hmm, mm-hmm, I feel like I like that a lot. Okay, I'm gonna move forward on this idea and I'm going to apply the Patrick Ta, uh, what is this called? The lipstick, it's the matte lipstick in the shade Oh She Single. It's a really pretty matte nude shade. I'm just gonna pop that in the center. Oh, I almost blended that out with my eyeshadow finger that had green on it. Would have turned into like green lips. <laughs> I'm glad I caught that. Okay, I'm just gonna blend this out with my finger. Okay, yeah, I really like that idea. Um, we are going to go into blush next, and this helps me decide what blush I wanted to use. So I, I knew I wanted to use um, one of the M Cosmetics blushes, I love these. But this one is in the shade Faded Clementine, which is a little bit more bronzy, and I think it'll look really nice with this look. So I'm gonna take this on a brush. I'm gonna smile and start to apply this to the cheeks. I love these blushes because they have a really beautiful natural sheen to it. You can see that golden sheen in there. It's so pretty. I'm gonna make sure to go back in with my powder brush and just make sure that this area right here is not too intense. I want it to fade into that area, but I don't want it to be too pigmented right here in the center of my face. Okay, I might just maybe add a little bit of this color right here. This is Magic Hour. I just want a teeny bit of pink, maybe right here. Yeah, that was just a little bit, but okay. Next, I found this in my drawer and it's been so long. I used to love this stuff. Yeah, I just wanted to use it again. This is the Glossier Play Nightshine Highlight Concentrate in the shade Pale Pearl. I cannot remember how I used to apply this. I am a little nervous to put it directly on the skin. So I just put a little on my hand and I'm gonna take that on my fingertips like that and just start to apply it using my fingers. Ooh, yes. You know, this is one of the reasons why I love doing my full face of nothing new videos because it reminds me of these incredible products and I'm like, why did I ever stop using them? Truly, that is so beautiful. Okay, now for this side, I'm trying to avoid my zit that won't go away, but I just accidentally highlighted it. Oh well, <laughs> it's fine. Taking a bit of that and applying it down the center of the nose, just right here. And we'll apply just a little bit on the forehead right above the highest point of the brow. Okay, I'm gonna gently take my sponge and just press down all of these products on the cheeks to make sure they're super melted into the complexion. I'm gonna take just the slightest bit more of this highlight and I'm gonna take this on my pinky finger and just lightly tap this into the corner of my eye. And then I'm gonna take what's left and just apply it to the highest part of the brow bone right underneath the arch of the brow. All right, so now we step back and assess the situation. I actually feel like things look pretty balanced, but you know, it wouldn't be a video of mine if I didn't go back in with a little bit of bronzer. So I'm gonna take a bit more of that Morphe bronzer and just kind of reapply to the forehead. I'm gonna take what's left on the blush brush and just kind of go back over the cheeks. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of the Pat McGrath powder and just kind of make sure the under eye area is clean and then right here where I have the largest pores. Then we'll put a little bit more right here in the center of the forehead. I forgot to bring over a um, setting spray and I feel like 
applying a setting spray. So I'm gonna go pick one really quickly. Okay, I'm back and I have selected a setting spray. Well, it's not really like a long wear setting spray, but it's the Pixi Hydrating Milky Mist. So I'm just gonna spray this all over. I love how this smells. I'm just gonna let that dry for a second and then go right in with my sponge one more time just to make sure everything is pressed into the complexion and that it looks really dewy and fresh. That was the vibe I was going for and I feel like I achieved it. Very excited, okay. Last but not least, I always need a brow gel. This is just my favorite benefit brow gel to lock in those brows all day. All right, so that completes this makeup look. I have to say, I really, really love how this turned out. This green eyeshadow is much more wearable than I initially thought, but I'm really glad I kind of went out of my color comfort zone today and created this. It makes me excited to play around with color um, in a more understated way like this. I feel like that's definitely more my speed. I feel like it's a way that I can genuinely incorporate more color into my makeup looks without it feeling like it's too far away from my personal aesthetic. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Tag me if you recreate this look. I would love to see how you guys look in green eyeshadow. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I truly hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.